Alrighty folks, how's it going? It's been a while since I've recorded a video in the shed. So I've got a few how-tos coming up for you uh, this time round. Uh, Smart Moto, the, or Smart Moto Electronics, uh, approached me uh, and seen that I'd done the uh, SAS delete. Um, so yeah, they, they come to me and asked, would you do some, uh, some more how-to videos if we sent you some kit? Uh, so I said, hell yeah. Um, so they've sent me the um, O2 delete kit or um, fuel dongle kit. Um, there's also the manual switch for the radiator fan, uh, so you can have it on, uh, so you can switch it on uh, if you want to. And also the um, EVAP delete kit as well. Um, and really fast delivery, uh, come all the way from Greece in what, 18 hours I think? Uh, that was by DHL Express, so if you need parts quick, um, that's the option to pick. Uh, can't get things in the UK that quick. So, uh, let's crack on with the um, O2 dongle. So, in this little packet, let's open it up now. So, there is the O2 delete dongle thing, it's a couple of resistors, and a bung to go in the exhaust. Um, with a copper washer. So the connector that you need to plug this into is usually somewhere around here on the bike. Um, I've checked on this KTM 690 and it's exactly the same on that as well. Um, and this will fit in a, a lot of KTM and Husqvarna uh, bikes that have, um, well, that are basically fuel injected and they've got a, a, an O2 sensor in the exhaust. Um, so. I'll crack on, take the bike to bits and show you how to install it before I start. Um, you want to fit the fuel dongle uh, for a few reasons. Um, one, fuel injection bikes are a bit snatchy, uh, often on the throttle, especially at low uh, RPMs. Um, so this does help greatly with that. It'll help um, smooth out your throttle response uh, and make riding in town or um, on trails uh, that little bit smoother. Um, the bikes are tuned to uh, to meet emission standards um, so the uh, the dongle just brings the the air fuel ratio uh, up a bit um, so that it's away from 14.7 um, you also need a fuel dongle uh, if you're fitting um, an aftermarket or piggyback ECU such as the uh, power commander uh, they should have one in it but sometimes they don't come um, I know that they removed it for the 2019 model, I think. Point I will add that this kit's plug and play. You don't need to cut any wires or anything like that. Uh, that's the, the joy of all of Smart Moto's kit. Uh, so, let's crack on. So, first off, you want the seat off. So, that's just the pop clip. That's already undone. And the little pull cord over here. So, as I said earlier, the connector for this is somewhere around here on your bike, or on the 701 and 690 anyway, uh, and this is it here. Um, you'll find it next to the airbox. Yours probably won't look like this. I've took the airbox out to uh, fit a different air filter. So this is the plug here. Uh, on the 701 it's kind of a clear-ish yellowy colour. Uh, on the KTM 690 I've seen that they are black, um, so just bear that in mind. Um, and to pull it apart there is a little fiddly clip. You, uh, you pull on that clip and pull the uh, the plug apart. So these can be quite fiddly. There we go. So this is the end that you want to um, plug the fuel dongle into. So just plug it in until it clicks. Uh, and that's and that's that. That's all you need to do for plugging things in. Um, so you might want to tie it up somewhere or just stick it back in your uh, rat's nest of cables. Now then, you've got two options there here um, for what you want to do with this plug. Uh, you can leave the sensor installed uh, in the exhaust um, and, and that's it. So probably just a good idea to tape over that with the, um, some black electric tape or a small um, zip tie bag and just tape it up. Uh, or if you want to remove it, uh, you'll need to cut some cable ties and so on, which is behind this panel, which will uh, just pop off. So 
to remove the panel, it's just four screws that aren't that tight. Two here. And you've got two in the front. One here and one down here. And that's it. And then that just pops off. Kind of folds forward a bit to, uh, to take it off. Yeah, so once you've got that off, uh, there's a few cable ties. You've got one at the top here, another one here, and one just here, uh, just on the the frame that holds the engine on. And yep, yeah, that is it. So you want to cut them, um, which makes it a lot easier for actually removing the uh, the O2 sensor. Right, so once you've got the cable ties cut off the sensor, uh, this is it here. Um, you'll need a 17mm spanner to get the um, O2 sensor out, so this is the O2 sensor just in here. Um, it's pretty obvious once you follow the cable, because uh, that's the only place it can go. Uh, so you'll need a 17mm spanner, um, just to whip that off. Uh, now if you've been riding the bike for a while, it'll probably be pretty tight. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, get that ripped off. I actually just figured out that you can uh, feed the plug through the ring end of a spanner. So this should make it a lot easier. Oh yeah. Oh. Not just a pretty face. Just a few little turns to get it loose. Before you should be able to get the rest out with your fingers. Yep, just a bit fiddly. Bazinga, there we have it. There we go. 10,000 mile old O2 sensor. So, we can just stick the bung in now. So the um, bung uh, has a 6mm uh, Allen key or hex key head on it and you want to put a little copper uh, crush washer on before you start. So, probably fire that in by hand and then tighten it up with the Allen key. Oh, nice and easy, that's what we like. It's a little fiddly with a, an Allen key, so if you've got a got a ratchet with a 6mm head on then that'll be your best option. Even easier if you've got a 6mm head with a CV bendy joint thing on it. Get that in from the side because it is quite fiddly and tighten it up. It's already tight. And that's it, that is you. Right, so once you've got the exhaust blank bolt in, uh, that's you pretty much done. You only want to stick a cable tie on uh, here, uh, just there's a couple of cables in that runs behind this bar, just to keep them up and out of the way. Um, the same for the, the dongle if you want to tie that in as well. Um, yeah, the fuel dongle uh, is one of the kind of best bang um, for the buck uh, type mods. Um, it's one of pretty much the first things you should do on the bike. It just helps smooth it out at the bottom end, uh, especially if you're still running the stock gearing. Um, yeah, it's just a bit nicer to ride around the town and when you're trying to do slow things. Um, Price-wise, um, this one was 20 euros, uh, which is what, 18 pounds in the UK. Uh, one thing I will add, uh, once you've installed it and once you kind of start the bike up, the uh, check engine light or the engine management light will be on. Uh, don't worry about it, it's normal. Um, once you've started the bike uh, about four or five times or even just ridden it four or five times um, the, the light will go out itself. Um, it's just until the bike gets used to seeing a, a constant signal uh, where it, whereas it should be seeing um, a varying signal coming from that uh, O2 sensor. So I'll fire the link for the 
or to delete kit way down in the comments. Um, if you've liked this video, hit like, uh, subscribe for for more how to's and stuff when I do them. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.